the college football landscape uh, continues to be a bit unsettled right now and more dominoes for falling in different directions. Where is Notre Dame's uh, foundation right now in relation to everything that's going on around it? Uh, it the, the dominoes do continue to fall and, and uh, we are engaged in a continuous basis on trying to predict the consequences of that and understand, understand what will happen. You know, our, our perspective remains constant or consistent with what it's been. Uh, we are well served by a strong, viable Big East, and we've continued to work to try and help make that happen, um, especially through Father John's leadership. Um, and we want to try and remain independent in football. And again, consistent with the hockey announcement we're making today, we want to continue to have a significant media presence, a unique media presence if we can. So we've been clear about our goals throughout. We monitor the landscape, but it's not over. And that's, uh, we can all see that. Uh, there continues to be news every day. And I think um, status quo is a little elusive here. And what we're going to try and do, as we've been doing for months and now a couple of years, is stay on top of it. Know what's happening. Uh, not be caught by surprise. Stay engaged with everybody and uh, consistent with the three goals I articulated for you. And at this point, the Big East is still there. The Big East is still the Big East. The uh, collection of schools, some of whom don't play football, that you compete with in all your Olympic sports are still there and strong. So has anything happened to this point that, in your mind, has dramatically changed uh, Notre Dame's situation? Well, there's a critical mass of football teams you need to have. I don't know. It hasn't changed our situation, but, but in, in terms of um, worrying, uh, about the Big East. Certainly you worry that when you have other institutions who are publicly expressing a desire to go somewhere else that it will destabilize the conference. Our hope is it does stabilize and that it uh, it adds new members and gets back on solid footing. You know the people have predicted the demise of the Big East several times in, in recent years and, uh, and and it's kept going and uh, you know we're we think they can do that again um, but it's important that the remaining current members stay and that some additional quality members be added because uh, these conferences need to have a, a strong football component to them to be ultimately successful. When do you see a time, and is there one on the horizon, when stability will return to college football in terms of conferences and everybody's home? Boy, I, um, that's a great question. Um, the thing that surprised me most about this version of it is that it happened during the football season. Um, and, and, and you would have expected more of a uh, detente during football um, because it's, it's hard to, to devote time to these matters and also have uh, the football season progress as everyone would like it to. Um, so I don't know the answer to that. I'm I was surprised um, by it starting up when it did. I knew it wasn't over because the factors that contributed to realignment haven't gone away. Um, so it's not over now. Um, and I would guess the status quo will be elusive for a while. Um, I, I've given up producing or predicting when it'll be over. Well, one thing certainly seems to have remained the same. Not only do you have a powerful partner in NBC Comcast, but as I look at your schedule, Every game is on national TV again, most of them in prime time. Notre Dame still plays a major role in college football, and there is major interest in having Notre Dame be a part of certainly every broadcast package. That's such a great point, and that's what we're trying to make sure we maintain. Uh, that is the critical element here. This program, since the turn of the previous century, has been about promoting the university about bringing awareness to Notre Dame through the profile of the athletics department, but especially the football team. That's why we play where we play. That's why we're going to Washington this year and we'll be in Ireland next year. Um, it's why we build a schedule that has every game have real interest. Um, and we, we, we are most interested in protecting that and trying to make sure that whatever the future holds for college athletics, we can be in a position, much like we've achieved with hockey, where we're maximizing the exposure of the university when we play these games.